Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the week of December 4th to the 10th. Keep in mind these are general reads so they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. If you need a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, I do love reads every single Wednesday because I work with the energy of the goddess Venus. The goddess Venus rules over energies regarding love, beauty, health, and finance. So if you need to do any rituals or prayers regarding any of those topics, Wednesday will be the absolute positive day to do so as the goddess Venus will be able to help you powerfully manifest those wishes, prayers, and manifest, you know, things of that nature. Also, we're going to do two cards. One is going to be your general energy and the second is going to be a possible outcome. I always charge both decks with crystal organite pucks. In doing so, we help charge and balance the energy. And then I also charge both decks on top of your own personalized astrological sign card. So again, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's get started. Before I um, do every reading, I always meditate and I ask the universe what messages I need to include on top of the cards that we pull. And I heard the song, Come Share My Joy by Whitney Houston. If you don't know the song, go ahead, put in your search bar and listen to the song. I got a very upbeat vibe for the Aquariuses. I also got the message that somebody may have been going through a very, very difficult time and you guys are coming out of it and you are excited to share some news with someone in regards to a love relationship. But I also picked up an energy that somebody felt like there's a lot of people who feel like People aren't going to be the people who they want to give this information to aren't going to be excited for them. That's that's the vibe that I got. And I also heard something about a message about Aquarius female and pregnancy, either a finding out that they're pregnant or hoping that they're pregnant. You would know how that applies to you. That's a very specific message. But I did pick that up before I started when I was meditating on your reading. OK, so let's get started on your reading. Look at that. And then when I part the deck. You had the Eight of Cups and then you have the Sun. And I just said, and I'm going to let you guys know, like I said, in case you're new to the channel, often when I part the deck to shuffle, if I'm drawn to show you guys the cards that are facing us, I will do so and explain it. I just said prior to me getting ready to start that I felt like somebody is coming out of a difficult time, Eight of Cups, walking away from something difficult, and then something positive. And that ties in perfectly with the song, Come Share My Joy, because the Sun is the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot, right? So you're walking out of something difficult and then you're coming into something very positive and both of these cards are upright. Well, first of all, when I start, I shuffle all the decks. I, um, you know, between every single reading, I make sure all the cards are upright and then I shuffle. But just the fact that these two cards came out, that really signifies exactly what I was just telling you guys. Some of you Aquariuses were dealing with a very, very difficult time and you guys are coming out of it. So congratulations to you guys. Let's get started on your reading. I like that energy for you guys. I feel like everybody deserves some positivity. And I feel like the time that you guys were coming out of that difficult, that difficult time was very, even as I talk about, it, I feel like a sense of heartbreak and it wasn't short lived. It was like a cycle. You guys are coming out of a, look at that. As I part the deck, you guys, I just said, you guys are coming out of a cycle, a very hurtful cycle you know this could last up to three years a three-year cycle because we have a three of swords here a three-year cycle for some of you guys and i'm your fellow air sign my son is um air so I've, i honestly can say that i've been going through one of those cycles as well that was very difficult especially in love so let's see what you guys get one general card for our Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus people. One general energy card. Okay, you have this flip over. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus person. Because I said that you guys were coming out of a difficult time, and I feel like that difficult time was with an Earth sign. I'm picking up strongly Capricorn more than anything for some of you guys. Too many flipped over. One possible outcome for our Page of Pentacles. What is the one possible outcome? One card, please. Okay. <laughs> King of Pentacles. So I'm going to tell you what I pick up from this. Your initial energy is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. 
And then you have the King of Pentacles. And I just said earlier when I when I started your reading, and you guys could definitely be dealing with a Earth sign. And this could have to do with money too. But again, this is, I'm doing strictly a love read, right? You guys could definitely be dealing with Earth sign. And I said strongly Capricorn. That was the first energy that I got for you guys regards to the Earth signs. It could be, it could be a Taurus or Virgo also, but I'm picking up strongly Capricorn. Now, I just said earlier in the reading that I felt like you guys are coming out of a difficult time and you want to share this positive news with family and friends about this new love. I feel like this may be the same person. But it has evolved. At first, this person is a page. I'm going to turn it up right so you can see the imagery. At first, this person was a page. We know the pages are young, something new, possibly immature. And this person wasn't giving you this huge, this this big pinnacle, this, this offer of stability, this offer of something solid, you know, this solid home life, this solid relationship. That's why they were in the reverse. I feel like now this person may be coming back and now they're the king. They went from the page to the king okay because they're no longer being juvenile and immature in the way that they deal with things in regards to relationship with you guys and now they're the king and now they're ready to offer you something solid something secure they're ready to offer you exactly what it is that you wanted in the first place and i feel like you want to tell your family and friends about this hence the song come share my joy okay you want to tell your family and friends about this but you know already that they're gonna be like girl or guy, whoever, you know how this applies to you. This part, ain't, ain't this the same person who was being ridiculous? Ain't this the same person who was a page in reverse? Isn't this the same person who was giving you a hard time, who broke your heart, who kept making you cry? Isn't this the same person? But there's, but there's a change in this person. But a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that. And you know a lot of your family and friends are going to look at you like you're making a bad decision. Because of all the things that this person has put you through in the past. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Let's get two clarifying cards. And again, as I get, this was at the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Cups again. This Eight of Cups could have been when you walked away from this person. And this Eight of Cups can also be with these two cards that we have. Could be this person deciding to walk away from their childish ways. Okay. And then as a part of the deck, you also have the Ace of Swords. There was some strong communication between the two of you guys about this behavior. And this person decided, I'm feeling like this person decided to walk away from the juvenile behavior. Again, both decks, every single thing is upright. So anything that flips up reverse, those are the messages you are supposed to have, okay? Most definitely, you guys are dealing with somebody that you were dealing with in the past and they were not giving you what it was that you needed look at that part of the deck they were not giving you everything that you needed four cups in reverse but guess what now they're working on being a better them for the sake of this union you guys have an earth sign a very strong earth sign like i said i keep hearing capricorn and the good thing and i will say i you know my father was a capricorn i have very close capricorns to me one thing I will tell you about Capricorns, when they're ready to settle down, they're ready to settle down. Again, it does not have to be a Capricorn, but I'm just telling you what energy I'm picking up very strongly for you guys. And look at that. As I part of the deck again, you have the two of cups and then you have, you know, it was upright at first and now it's in reverse. And I feel like that's only because at one point, because this is the present, this is the past. Okay. I feel like at this point, they weren't where you wanted them to be. This is when they were in the page mode. Now they're in the two of cups mode. I'm sorry, I'm sitting right by my window so you guys are going to hear the garbage truck outside collecting the garbage. One more shuffle. Okay, let's get one possible outcome for our page of cups in reverse. One possible outcome. I'm sorry, one clarifying card for our page of cups in reverse. Yeah, you guys, and that's why I heard that song. That's why that was your overlying energy. That song, Come Share My Joy, because you guys are really considering getting back with this person or giving this person an offer but i feel like this person is going to give you an offer and i know that because this person is a king now a king does not question their motive a king does not question what it is that they want to do they just execute their plans they know what they want and they go for it and this person is coming for you most definitely and i said something about a baby like i said with earth signs they don't just they typically don't just want something fleeting and something quick and you know they want something solid and secure so okay something just flipped over what do we got they're making a whole bunch of noise out there huh
Okay. So the first thing I'm going to take notice to is, like I said, the background. Like, okay, so I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm an intuitive reader. And so I'm looking at the energy and I'm looking at all this bright yellow. Uh, and, and, and intuitively, I'm picking up and I'm hearing a new day, a bright new day. Yellow makes me think of joy. Come share my joy. This person is living in... This person is definitely living in a moment. And if you one thing we're going to also pay attention to the fact is, again, this is a pinnacle card. You have three pinnacle cards here so far. Three. Three pinnacle cards. Okay. You are definitely dealing with an earth sign. You have the eight of pentacles. Like I said, you had the seven of pentacles when we just parted the deck, right? And that's building onto something. We know eights are about foundations. We know eights about the home life. And when you turn eight sideways, that's the infinity symbol. Something that's, that a person wants to be forever, long lasting, continuous, without an end. Whoever this king of pentacles is, this person wants to be long term. And they see that long term with you, Okay. I'm definitely being drawn. You know, you have nothing but pinnacle cards. All three of your cards, even your first clarifying card is a pinnacle card. You guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign. If you don't have strong earth in your chart, but I feel like this is a different person. Let's get one clarifying card. Okay, this one wants to... Oh, oh, oh. The death. Okay, and that's positive. People see the death card and they get all worked up about it. You, I'm going to tell you why this is positive, Okay. The death card is clarifying the king of pentacles. At one point, this king was this page in reverse. The fact that you have the death card clarifying this king of pentacles lets me know that, like I just told you a few minutes ago, this person, the death is the end of something in the beginning, the end of something old, the beginning of something new. This person is no longer this page because he's realized that losing you or the potential thought of losing you was something that he didn't want to live with. So he decided there was a death of the ego. This was this isn't a physical death. This is a death of the ego. This is a death of old ways. This person is no longer looking to, you know, cause whatever it was that caused you guys to be separated or think about separating. This person no longer wants that with you guys. Right. This person, because if you look at this. The way it is and the way we're holding this, this death card is going in the direction of the king. And we know this with major arcanas like the death card, that's the universe, that's spirit. You know, this person had an epiphany that's, you know, they listen to their higher self and they realize like, if I really want this person, if I really want this, he, she, whoever in my life, if I want this person in my life, if I want this solid foundation in my life i want this solid relationship in my life i have to put an end to my old ways that's what the death card signifies in this deck and what i also notice right here is you see again this pope or whoever he is is wearing yellow yellow again this is a pinnacle card so this is the person you're dealing with this person has changed their ways right and then Again, I want to point out that this is not a negative thing, right? Because you have the sun coming up in the background, in the horizon. Also, I, I want to point out that I said earlier that I've seen somebody who is either interested in having a baby or thinks that they may be pregnant. And look in the corner right here, you have two small children, one very tiny. Somebody is pregnant. Somebody is pregnant and you may not know right now. Somebody is pregnant. And that's interesting because I was I immediately was drawn to this as I'm holding up the card for you guys to look at. Somebody is pregnant. Either that and I yeah, somebody's pregnant and it's gonna come to light. That's what the sun is about, also. And with this, he looks like a pope or a pastor or something like that. I I don't know why I'm equating it to that, but intuitively I'm picking up like this may be a doctor giving you some results, right? Somebody telling you what's going on. You may have another child already, but I feel like there's a new child in the midst or somebody you're getting ready to have another child or you're interested in having another child and the universe is giving you their blessing. Right? Something, but this is going to be positive. Whatever this relationship stagnation was with you and this earth sign person, that's done. This, this death card came in and swept away whatever negativity you had between you and this person. And I feel like initially with this person being a page of pentacles, it may not have been that this person was cheating or just being underhanded. It may have been, like I said, the pages are young. 
immature. Maybe this person would have was just possibly being immature about settling down, you know. And then we keep in mind that the earth signs are big on setting foundations and having their money established before they move forward into something serious. So keep that in mind also. And that may have been the reason why this person is in reverse or was in reverse because now this person is a king. So I feel like their money is right. Um, they have their mo their motives and goals together. They know what they want and they, and they want you. Most definitely. They're building towards you. They want you. You see how he's looking in the direction of this maiden. <laughs> I want to say maiden. She look like a maiden to me. This lady. You know, so this is a beautiful reading for you guys, Aquarius. Very beautiful reading. You guys are coming into what it is that you want. And you're getting everything that you want. And be happy and be joyful about it. But, you know, I'm going to tell you, if you feel like, like I said initially in the beginning, that you, your closest family and friends that you want to share this information with is not going to be happy for you, you might want to delay that. And you might want to keep it to yourself until you feel as though you know, you're more comfortable with it. At the end of the day, it's your decision. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's your decision. Because I'm telling you from the way this all looks, this is positive and this is everything that you wanted. This is exactly what you wanted all along. Okay. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people, as always, I'm going to ask you to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.